Good evening and welcome to the Year 7 concert. My name is Debbie Madden and I'm the Director of Music here at King Edward VI School. Although we were disappointed not to be able to invite a live audience to hear our concert this evening, we were delighted to have been able to work with local videographers Charlie Budd and Lucy McLeod and we've been able to make a recording of the concert. Year 7 students have worked really hard this year and we're pleased to bring you some of the highlights of their musical year. As well as curriculum lessons and their individual lessons, all students have been involved in the Music Mondays fortnightly lesson, which is when all of the Year 7 students are timetabled together. During this time, we've split them up into five different groups. Mr Foster has taken the brass, Mrs Riyad has the saxophones, I've taken the winds, Miss Mills has taken the strings, and Mr Samson Mars group have put together a performance of Cool Blues, which features improvisation. On behalf of the department, I hope you enjoy listening to the singing, playing, ensembles and solos, and congratulations to all performers. The piano is an acoustic instrument. 
invented in Italy by Bartolomeo Cristofori around the year 1700. It is played by pressing small keys, small levers, that make a hammer strike a string. The hammer is coated with a softer material. The word piano is a shortened version of the word piano forte, which was the Italian term in the 1700s. You can also say it as gravisimboli col piano e forte. The harder the pianist hits the keys, the harder the hammer strikes a string, resulting in a louder noise. In the early days of construction, the keys were made from sugar pine and covered in ivory, and the black keys were made from ebony. This was obviously changed due to the endangered animals required. There are two main types of pianos, the grand piano and the upright piano. The grand piano strings are horizontal, and the upright piano strings are vertical. Then there are three types of grand pianos. The baby grand, which is 1.5 metres, the parlour grand, which is 1.7 to 2.2 metres, and the concert grand, which is 2.2 to 3 metres. As the upright piano strings are vertical, they are more compact and suitable for the house. Electric pianos have been developed since the 1920s, becoming popular in the 1960s and 70s. They are non-acoustic, as do not have strings. They are a type of synthesizer that simulates a piano sound using oscillators and filters to create the sound of an acoustic piano. They have been further developed to include other instrument sounds and also digital sounds. On a piano, there are 52 white keys and 36 black keys, resulting in 88 different pitches. The lowest note is A0, and the highest note is C8. There are 12,000 individual parts. In the early days of construction, there were two pedals, the soft pedal and the sustain pedal. But in more modern day pianos, there are now three pedals, the soft pedal, the sustain pedal, and the practice pedal. The sustain pedal is the most used, as it lifts the dampers from all the keys, sustaining all played notes. It also allows a change in tone by allowing the strings to reverberate. There are also many challenges to playing a piano. For example, the timing of pressing the keys correctly and applying the correct amount of pressure to get your desired note and sound. Your fingers have to be strong and accurate to make sure that you press the correct key. There's also the challenge of playing different keys on each hand to create a melody. The piano is part of the percussion family but also the strings family, as ultimately the strings are the th thing that produce the sound. In the 1800s, influenced by the Romantic music era, innovations such as the cast iron frame were made. And during the 19th century, music, music publishers made many musical works. For example, symphonies, operas, overtures, waltzes, etc. There are also some related instruments which are played in similar ways. For example, the electric keyboard, the organ, and the harpsichord.
Hello, my name is Maka and I've been playing the violin since year two. The violin is a very old instrument that has been played from the start of the 16th century and is still being played today. There's a whole 500 years that the violin has been played. The violin was invented in northern Italy by two people called Andrea Matti from Cremona and Gasparo di Bertolotti from Salon. Violins produced by these two still exist today. There are many types of violins and they all sound different in some sort of way. There are the Baroque violin, the classical violin, the Strauch violin, the electric violin, the semi-electric violin and the five string violin. There are more violins in an orchestra than any other instrument. There are often 30 violins playing, playing together in a symphony orchestra. The violin often plays the melodies, but also rhythms and accompaniments. There are also different groups. There are the first violins, the second violins, and sometimes the third violins. Violins are typ typically compromised of spruce or maple wood. Violins come in different sizes. Typically, students start learning a violin at a young age with a 1 16th or 1 8th size violin. As the student grows, they will graduate up to a full size violin like mine. Violins are very complex. Over 70 different pieces of wood are put together to form the modern violin. Violin bows typically contain 150 to 200 hairs. They can be made up of a variety of materials, including nylon and horsehair. Violin strings were first made of sheep gut, commonly known as cat gut, which are stretched, dried, and twisted. There are four strings, G, D, A, and D. The word violin comes from the medieval Latin word of vitula, meaning stringed instrument. The world record in cycling backwards playing a violin is 60.45 kilometers in five, hour, five hours and eight seconds. Why? No, I don't know either. The most expensive violin in the world was made by Guarneri in 1741. This extravagant violin was appraised at a value of $18 million. Playing a violin burns approximately 170 calories per hour. Forget about your workout and start practicing harder.
will explain a brief history of the saxophone, the different parts of the saxophone, and, how, and what music it is mostly used in. The saxophone was invented by a Belgian inventor and musician called Adolf Sax in the year 1840. There are, many, there are various types of saxophone, but the main four are the alto, the tenor, the soprano, and the baritone. I've been learning to play the alto since the start of year seven, and I'll show you the parts of it and how it is played. There are three parts of the saxophone, the main body, the crook, and the mouthpiece. The crook slides onto the top of the main body and is fixed into place with these screws to stop it sliding about. The mouthpiece then slides onto the top of the crook and this is where the sound is created. You blow into this thin gap here which vibrates the reed, this wooden piece, which vibrates the air which makes a sound. The crook attaches the mouthpiece to the body and then you use these pads on the body to make a sound. jazz and rock and roll bands, but is occasionally used in the orchestra. In the orchestra, it is classed as a woodwind instrument, even though it is made of brass. This is because of the fact that it uses a reed to make its sound. It is also used in many movie tracks, most commonly in the 80s. One of the most famous pieces of music using the saxophone is the Pink Panther theme tune.
Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching the broadcast this evening. It falls upon me just to say a few closing remarks. Um, firstly, I'd like to congratulate all the musicians that took part in this broadcast. A very difficult thing to, to perform, and even more so in front of a camera, when everyone's going to be able to pick every uh, minor, er minor error that you make, but I'm sure there haven't been any. Um, this has been a very strange year, um, and we've ended up with a broadcast, which none of us would have chosen. But actually, every cloud has a silver lining, of course. And, and that is that we will have a, a wonderful record of this concert that in seven years' time, we'll be able to compare and contrast to all those fantastic musicians in seven years' time in their end of year uh, concert. And we'll say farewell to them then. Um, I'd like to thank uh, everyone who participated in the concert, but I'd particularly like to thank the people behind the scenes, of course, all the music teachers, the peripatetic music teachers that have supported the students throughout this, uh, their first year at the school. And, and last and by no means least, I'd like to thank our two members of the uh, music department, Mr. Samson Ra, Assistant Director of Music, and Mrs. Debbie Madden, Director of Music, who without their hard efforts throughout this year, none of this would be possible. So thank you very much indeed. Bye for now. <laughs>